back to Motoganda and what the fuck, why is it raining now? I mean, five minutes ago, before I started riding, weather looked pretty nice actually, a bit cloudy, but now it's raining. Ah uh, well, I have to get used to it now in winter. So what is today's topic? Well, I was reading that Facebook and Google now started talks about how to prevent fake media from spreading on their websites or search results. And somehow I don't really trust them with that. <laughs> and actually that's, that's really funny course. Obviously, all the mainstream media now looking whose fault it is that Trump got elected. Sorry that I have to come back to that topic again, but that's what's going on at the moment. So they... I don't know even who came up first with this pretty strange idea, starting to blame Facebook on it. Yeah, right, they said like, oh, Facebook helped that Trump got elected because they published all those fake stories and the people fell for it. Uh, actually, I'm not really sure to which fake stories they refer there. So, if you know what fake stories they mean there, just put it in the comments, I would really appreciate that. Who is going to decide which news are actual news and which news are fake. I mean, how are you gonna determine if certain news are fake or not? And I doubt that the people at Google, or not the people in general, the, let's say, executives at Google or Facebook are uh, reliable or trustworthy source when it comes to decide which news are actual news and which news are fake. Uh, I mean, they have shown, at least Google, and not sure if there's any proof yet that Facebook was involved as well, but on WikiLeaks you can find the relations between uh, what was it the CEO of Google or I don't remember correctly but at least some high executive of Google with Clinton so if you have such links in between whatever party or corporation or anything it's pretty obvious you're not going to bring up neutral news or are you going to decide neutrally on which news are fake and which are not. Uh, I think you could check on, on Alex Jones actually at some nice stuff up uh, how Google ranked him down if I remember correctly or basically how Google ranked stuff down which was pro-Trump and anti-Hillary. So they kind of have proven already, at least at Google, um, that they're not neutral and that they're doing their censorship already. Oh, well, did I mention just the bad word censorship? I'm sorry for that, I mean uh, filtering or whatever they want to call it. But. It is obviously censoring. Of course, regardless if a story is true or not, as far as I know, free speech also covers bullshit stories. Oh, now I remember. Even Facebook has shown already that there are not good or valid for such filtering. 
course, do you remember all those, uh, what all you could win, those, those winning promises which got spread all over Facebook, like, yeah, you can win uh, the latest BMW, or you can win a PlayStation, or whatever, just share it and like it and click on over here and then you will win those stuff was obviously fake I mean it couldn't have been more obvious fake and what I did whenever I saw it I mean I didn't search for it but whenever it showed up in my newsfeed I was reporting it to Facebook saying like here is a spam please remove it and what were the replies of Facebook in such case in, for such obvious spam? I mean, it would be easy for them to see, oh, that's just the same spam we had yesterday or the day before or whatever. But their reply was always like, uh, thank you for the information, but it doesn't uh, violate our community standards or how their wording is for it. And just another example, or better question to you guys and girls, maybe if girls are watching, I don't know. Uh, what do you think if there is a big media outlet, I'm not gonna name any names, but a major media network. And let's say they publish a fake story with fake pictures, what do you think? Would Facebook or Google then stand up against those major networks which bring them like millions of income and say like, listen, this is a fake story, we're not gonna publish it, we're gonna filter it. Or will they rather go like, ah, well, you're the big players, you can say whatever you like? Well, that actually happened when the Crimea issue happened they were publishing a lot of different pictures with Russian tanks and Russian military and all that stuff saying like look here you can see how they go into I don't remember which uh, which city they named but basically there you can see how they go into Crimea and invading Ukraine. And after some research of some independent media, it turned out, well, okay, it's Russian tanks, you can see on those pictures, and Russian troops. But first of all, the pictures were taken a couple of years ago, and the pictures were taken in Russia. So, well, what's the point here if they're not going to target mainstream media for fake news? Why are they coming up with it now? And I have a theory there. They're scared. They're basically scared that alternative media continue to grow and to continue to gain influence and that they now noticed with again I know I have to go again to that topic that they now noticed with the vote of Trump where all the mainstream media everyone I don't recall any mainstream media who was pro-Trump so basically all mainstream media were against him and well that normally works out because they make an opinion they don't publish an opinion they create it that's a that's a big change if my theory is true and facebook and google are now trying to target actively target alternative media by banning them or not publishing them anymore since obviously those bad conspiracy theorists just publish all bullshit, all fake. So
so we can easily ban them, of course. We just ban fake media. Well, then, in my opinion, that's an open threat. Not just on free speech, but that's an open threat to democracy at all. If everyone tells you one plus one is three, if everyone, your teacher is telling you that, your your boss is telling you that, the media is telling you that, everyone tells you one plus one is three. Don't be an idiot and think it's two. No, it's three. You will resist for a while, of course. But if that narrative continues, and even your friends then start telling you like, oh come on, ah, how, how can you be so stupid still believing that one plus one is two? It's obviously scientifically now proven it's three. Well, at a certain point, you will start not just saying it if your friends are around and even, yeah, just to stay friends with them basically. No, at a certain point you will even start believing it. And that's kind of a problem. And now they're noticing that strategy doesn't work anymore. So apparently the only idea they come up with or the, on the only idea they have so far is to obviously contain their power is to basically start banning different opinions. So, wait a second. Where, where do we know certain things like that from? I mean, remember back in the times in Germany at the Third Reich? They had exactly that. It was only allowed to say what suited them. And exactly the same way we're heading at the moment. And if you now say like, okay, but people can still get their information from the internet. Yeah, okay, you have a point there. But keep in mind, in a lot of countries and a lot of areas and to a lot of people, Facebook is the main is the internet basically not just the main part of the internet it is the internet for them unfortunately it's that way but if it's not on Facebook it doesn't exist for certain people and not just certain people quite a lot of people actually and another detour what the fuck am I today at detour city or what all right, at least this one was a pretty short detour. Back on the main road. So where we stopped? I am with Facebook, right? And it's actually even worse with Google. I mean, again, a question to everyone watching. Do you know any other search engine than Google? I mean, it made even its way already to the dictionary. I mean, nowadays a legit verb for searching for something is googling. It will always be people there which kind of keep linked lists or alternative search engines or anything. But for the majority and obviously in a democratic society the majority is what counts in a majority if you're not found on Google you do not exist so this issue actually has nothing but nothing to do as they claim with content filtering or keeping out fake news like okay there are really fake news which spread on Facebook like uh, I don't know uh, that certain celebrity died or some stupid stuff like that. Yes, this stuff exists and this stuff, yes, shares on Facebook a lot. But it is not about that. It is just basically about controlled media 
controlled knowledge for easier controlled minds. So, as I said in the beginning already, it is censorship. It is building up a new Third Reich, or call it Fourth Reich, or Facebook Reich, or whatever you would like to call it. But well, as long as you still find me on Facebook and Google, and obviously YouTube, which, by the way, just to mention it, belongs to Google as well and might be affected as well by this content filtering, as long as you still find me there, I will continue making videos like that. And even if you don't find me there, I will somehow stay in, in contact with you. So if you like this video, make sure to share it and give it a thumbs up so more people know about those issues. And if you have any other comments that, rather than the question I asked earlier already, you're very welcome to put anything down there in the comment section. And if you still didn't subscribe, Come on, as long as it's still possible, just hit the subscribe button and don't miss any further update. And I see you in the next video.